Today I am making a quilt using black fabrics for the very first time. Now I don't know if this is going to work because for me quilting is all about color and vibrancy so this goes against everything that in my mind makes a beautiful quilt. So I figured I may as well make a video and you get to watch me trying to figure it out and then let me know how I did. Let me start by showing you the fabrics, the bundle that started all this drama. You know, the minute I saw these on Amazon, I fell in love. I love everything with stars and galaxies and skies and whatnot. And these, ah, oh, these just spoke to me. Here they are, 10 fat quarters in, oh, dark blues and blacks, okay. I'm not sure if these blues will make a big difference here because this combination seems very monochromatic. Color, contrast and vibrancy? They have none of that. Which means I'll have to make my first ever monochromatic quilt. Oh God, just saying it bores me. I mean, is there a more boring word than monochromatic? These are the fat quarters we have to work with. They don't look very much like the listing I bought on Amazon. I don't remember seeing color for my favorite fabrics. This one is my favorite. I love this one as well with the constellations. Now, I do love that I have a purple, but the fabric is so ugly. There's crystals in it. This one is a little bit Christmassy for me, but other than that, the bundle is gorgeous. Now, the big question here is, what pattern will I use? They're all pretty much the same color. I do not see anything that pretty much separates them from each other, so it's going to be hard to pick a pattern. Any pattern that relies on contrast to be visible is off limits. I guess I could just make a stamp quilt and mix them all up and be done with it, but I really love this fabric and I really want to make it shine, so there's that. You know, this is the lighter fabric of the bunch. Maybe I'll organize them from light to dark and see how this works out. Maybe I can do an ombre, like a watercolor quilt or something. I know I want a pattern to show, so I can't cut anything too small. Guys, I'm really struggling with this one. I see a lot of monochromatic quilts that add white, so I guess I could add white fabric, but then it wouldn't really be a galaxy quilt. I don't know. What if I did small ombres, like a half log cabin, maybe with a white center and then just grow darker from there, you know, big ones in order to show off all these cute fabrics? Guys, I think we're onto something. Let's cut some strips and see how this goes. Now these are 10. Is there a maximum number of log cabin strips? I don't know. Can I make them 10 each or should I just do two types with five each and leave? Mm, decisions, decisions. <laughs> okay, let's do two types, two inch strips. How perfect is this project for a laid back sewing session? I mean, we just cut our strips and then we sew them by color and that's pretty much it. More and more, I'm enjoying these free flow kinds of projects where you just get to play with the fabric, you know, relax, have fun, and then get something super cute for our trouble. We need nine blocks for starters and these will be quite big once we're done. So let's cut nine two inch squares for our starter point and select which fabrics we want to go with each block. And in which sequence, we want lighter to dark. Some of these are just too darn similar. I am not convinced and this is really getting into my head. There's no ombre here and I knew this would be my difficulty, you know, with monochromatic. It's what you get. Fabrics are extremely similar and I'm just afraid that once they're sewn, they're all alike. I think I've got it. Let's do it and see how it goes. Fingers crossed. <laughs> I know some of you are a little bit nervous that I'm, you know, cutting with a scissor every time I end the strip. This is just the way I like to do it, okay? You can use a already cutter and you can even chop your pieces before you sew them, okay? This for me works best and is a little bit more relaxed, so that's how I do it the way I do it. And this is it, guys. These are our quilt blocks. I prefer them like this. So, so happy with it. Let's keep going. You know, you have the fabric, then you chop the fabric into strips, still nothing much, and then you turn it into this. To me, this is the magic of quilting. You do whatever you want, and it always turns out awesome. These are our two kinds of quilt blocks. Which is your favorite? I'm not so sure which one I prefer. I love them both. The way this block works is this is half of the traditional log cabin quilt block. If for a log cabin quilt block, we got two corners in contrasting colors for this monochromatic half log cabin quilt block, we just get one of the corners all in the same colors. And that's how we sew it. One strip of the same fabric at a time for both sides of our block, leaving the white square in one of the other corners and then we just grow our block from there. You know, I am very, very hopeful this pattern will do these awesome fabrics some justice. And I have said it before and I'll say 
it again. I do not usually use black for my quilts. It is one of the colors that is not a part of my fabric stash in general. I have been using it lately for some videos and I guess now I've just gone overboard with it because of most of these dark, dark blues look black to me. <laughs> and now I'm actually making a quilt pattern using just these. And look at that. Our first quilt block is done. Time to make the second type. And guys, I actually need your help. I am planning a Q&A video for very soon. So if you have any questions, just drop them in a comment for me, okay? Thank you so much. And I guess there's something to be said about calm, dark, you know, one-tone quilts. As I imagine what this top will look like, I kind of like the idea of something subdued. You guys know me, I'm all about in-your-face, colorful, vibrant quilts, but these, I can picture myself drinking tea, watching the rainfall bundled up under one of these. <laughs> Let's see if the end result is anything like what I'm imagining. Now, as much as I would love to say I'm not an impulse fabric buyer and that this kind of stuff doesn't happen to me very often, I can't <laughs> because I am an impulse fabric buyer and I often come home with fabric that is very unlike what I usually go for with these crazy ideas of how to use it. But it is usually colorful, over the top fabric, you know, a black and dark blue bundle is a first for me. And it's just so out of my comfort zone that when I got it in the mail, I was so scared. <laughs> but I have been looking for ways to challenge myself and bring some surprises and excitement into my sewing and these fabrics are perfect for that. Last strip, guys, we are done with these quick plugs. Ah, oh, we are not done with this quilt block. Ah, oh, damn it. I wonder what I should call this. A wonky log cabin. Oh, okay, let's... And here's all nine, they are looking beautiful. We have pressed and now we will trim and then we are going to puzzle this into the most beautiful dark quilt I've ever done. This is looking so much better than I had imagined. Let's do it. I'm loving it. I am just debating if I should add, you know, um, a thin white frame between the, the, the squares. I think white is too much in your face and you're ready. Let's leave it as is. I like it. And here we have it, a mini quilt top made with dark monochromatic fabrics that take us up to the stars. <laughs> I'm so happy with this, guys, and with my Impulse Buy too. <laughs> love these fabrics more than ever now that I know what they can do. I hope you love this too, and if you have any other ideas what I can make with 10 very similar lovely fabrics, let me know. See you soon, bye-bye.